Welcome to Food for Thought brought to you by Lily. Today's Food for Thought moment is all about cilantro. Cilantro is also known as coriander and it is in the same family as carrots, celery, and parsley. It is a beautifully fragrant herb that is typically used in Central American, Middle Eastern, Indian, and Asian cuisines. And it's almost always used fresh because the leaves don't dry very well. So to get that maximum flavor, best added fresh to your dishes. Now in the United States, when we hear cilantro, that typically refers to the leaves or the stems. And when we hear coriander, that typically means the seed of the plant. Outside of the United States, when we hear coriander, that could typically refer to any part of the plant. The flavor of coriander, like I said, is very fresh. It's got a pungent, bright, lemony, almost peppery flavor. Now, interestingly enough, to a certain population, cilantro doesn't taste like any of that. In fact, it tastes like soap. And this is because of the natural aldehyde chemical that is produced in the leaves of this plant. That chemical is also naturally produced in soap making. So for those individuals that really pick up that soapy flavor, the thought is they have a variation in a group of their olfactory receptor genes, causing them to greatly pick up that soapy flavor. So they're not getting any of that bright peppery flavor that others may taste. And that's why some people, cilantro is just not their favorite herb to use. Now, I will say that flavor is greatly diminished anytime we are cooking with this herb. So when we dry it, there will be a significantly reduced flavor to it compared to when we enjoy it fresh. Now, from a nutritional standpoint, the cilantro plant is a great source of vitamins A, C, and K and the leaves are a good source of folate, potassium, and magnesium. Now, another interesting nutritional fact is a natural antimicrobial compound that is found in cilantro called dodecenol. Research studies have shown that this compound is really effective in reducing risk of foodborne illness, specifically salmonella. So if you are adding this to your dishes, you can feel good that not only you're adding incredible flavor, but you're adding a really health promoting safety compound. And finally, cilantro is known to be a really good supporter of good blood sugar control. In addition, while there is more research needed, some studies have shown that eating cilantro can assist with reduced symptoms of some cognitive diseases, specifically Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, but certainly more to come on that end. And finally, one of the common questions that we hear is how to properly store our fresh herbs. Let me tell you. So in the refrigerator, your, the best way to store your cilantro is exactly as you see it. Store it in a glass container with water and set your herbs in so that the um, stems of the plants can stay well hydrated and you wanna have it standing upright. Now, if you have an abundance of herbs or you have a limited space in your refrigerator, one way that you can store them is wrapping your herbs in a damp paper towel and storing them in any reusable Ziploc bag, making sure that you're pressing the air out of it and keeping it stored in your crisper drawer. Both options will keep your herbs lasting much longer than just uh, storing them in the grocery store bag that sometimes we do. In the summer, particularly when we tend to have an abundance of herbs, one of my favorite ways to store them is by making an herb oil. So all you have to do is take your herbs, whether it's cilantro on its own or a blend, and mix it with your favorite extra virgin olive oil. Once everything is well blended, pour it in an ice cube tray and store it in your freezer. That way you can just pop out one or two cubes, let them defrost on your counter, and now you have a beautifully fresh herb oil to use in your cooking or to use as a finisher to your delicious dish. So there you have it, our food for thought moment all about cilantro. Be sure to check back to our food for thought page 
for more segments about delicious food and helpful information. See you next time.